Welcome back my darlings. Um, something a bit different today, I'm going to give you a bit of an update of what's going to come on the channel because something quite exciting has happened. Well, exciting for me anyway. Um, you may remember a little while ago I did a uh, comparison review of Malco Breakoff versus Built Hamber Auto Wheel and then um, after that I did it against Wonder Wheels. I shared it on social media, Malco uh, responded and said thanks for the review, really enjoyed it. Um, you know, if 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 you're if you think you need any more bite, you should try the fast shot product that we've got. I said, like, cool. Send me some. Yeah, and I'll give it a review. Didn't really expect anything to happen, but you know, I thought I'd chance my arm. Why not? Um, and they have. They've also sent me a bunch of other stuff to test as well, which is pretty cool. Um, there's no obligation for me to produce um, positive reviews, so. Um, which is a really nice thing from my perspective. I am going to test them the way I'd always test stuff, and that is in comparison to something else that I own and know. So let me give you a brief rundown of what we've got. We've got the aforementioned fast shot wheel cleaner. Now I actually bought some of this myself. Now I, um, all of this was provided via their UK reseller, which was Slims, and that's where I bought it. So I've got a big uh, like four and a half litre one of these as well. It is good, so good comparison video. But I'm going to compare that to the Malco break off um, that they already already have, because if, if I thought that was my most potent, strongest wheel cleaner, well, if this is better, why not compare it directly to that? That was their suggestion anyway. I've also got some microfiber refresh. I'm not sure too sure how I'm going to compare it, um, but I'm definitely going to give it a go to wash. The obvious thing is against a mild detergent, which I currently use, but. Um, I'm slightly worried about doing too much washing with small loads um, in a bit environmental, uh, environmentally conscious. So I'm going to use it for sure, um, but I'm not too sure if I can compare that one or not just yet. However, think though. Something that I can definitely compare is their ceramic refresher product. Um, this looks like it is, it's more than a ceramic quick detailer. Uh, it, it gives you three to six months of longevity according to the um, to the blurb on the back, it's uh, kind of something you, you layer on top of a ceramic. So for me, I'm going to pair this up and put it against Nova Luster, which I'm going to put on my van. So I'll be able to do panels side by side and do direct comparisons. Again, because Nova Luster can be used independently on its own or topped over Nova Evo. So I'm going to use them independently on their own and do a direct comparison. The only slight difference there um, is that Nova Luster has some filling properties. This doesn't claim to do that. So I will purely be te testing it on longevity and water behavior, really. Then we've got next up here is Cherry Flash, which is it's called a liquid paste wax. This is a lot thinner than what I would look at as a liquid paste wax, because I was going to put it against Colonite 845, which is a liquid paste wax. Um, James from Slims suggested, you know, it can be used other ways. It can be used like as a spray wax. You can use it on a wet car, dry car. So, ah, it's closer to Turtle Wax Flex Wax. So that's what I'm going to put it on and up against. Then I've got uh, something called Showroom Shine, which uh, basically is a quick detailer by the reads of the blurb on the back. So I'm going to compare that to the QD that I've got. Well, I've got two actually, but the one I use undiluted is Feracla G3. Uh, the other one I've got is Built Hamber Auto QD, but I use Auto QD as a clay loop really, I never use it just as a QD. However, for the sake of a comparison, I may well do that. Then here's an interesting product, it's called Clean and Shine. Now it's an interior cleaner and dressing all in one. I don't have any other AIOs for interior, so I'm going to kind of compare this against um, the cleaning ability of probably Kosh Chemi Polestar, which is the interior cleaner, um, and then Aerospace 303 as the interior protectant. So if there's one product can, that can do it all and give me as good a results, that's pretty cool, right? I think. I know there are other more directly comparable all-in-one products, but I don't own them. Um, and really, for me, the test is, can you have one product that replaces two and then it um, optimizes your steps? Uh, so yeah, that's what the plan is there. And the last product, I don't really have a direct um, thing to compare this to. Uh, 
and it's the water spot remover. Now, initially, I thought um, Kosh Kemi FSE would be the thing to compare this to. Doesn't seem to be the case, uh, having spoken to James at Slims, um, because that's more of a QD with limescale remover. Uh, there is a Chemical Guys variant that has something similar to this. I don't really like Chemical Guys products personally, um, so I'm not going to go and purchase that for the sake of the review. What I will do though is use it and see how it comes up. I've got a few water spots on the bonnet of my um, Merc GRC, so that's good. But do you know what? My shower cubicle at home has got tons of water spots and lime scale. So, it's worth a shout, right? As a, as a little bit of a comparison. So I could give that a go, but I am going to use it on my uh, Mercedes. That's a coated car. That's got Gion Can coat on. So uh, put that, try that to remove the water spots from that. Excellent. So that's what's coming up. Uh, it's going to be, I'm going to do some videos with the installation of them. Some of them could be direct comparisons to get the results really quickly, like the interior things, the QDs, etc., etc. wheel cleaners, yeah, straight off the bat. The ceramic one, I'm, um, I'm going to do a video installing it on my van and then I will probably do a monthly update. Or oh, well, one month, three months, six months. See how they've got them, I think. Um, just so you get to see some real world uh, longevity of those ones. There you go. Quick video, no editing, nothing else. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching it and hopefully we'll enjoy um, looking at these Malco products. Thank you very much.